Hi guys, this is Ken with the Computer Guy of Fresno. Um, I just wanted to show you something here. It's more repair videos. Um, it's just, I've been so busy lately, it's taking a little while longer for me to uh, get some posted related to the 360 console, so I wanted to make one for PS3. Um, this is your PlayStation Fat Model board from 2007. Uh, this is a backwards compatible board, so if you're a repairman out there, you're going to see a lot of these. Uh, I'm getting ready to reball this graphics chip, but I wanted to make a short video to show you how to remove what's called the IHS. Um, a lot of people, when they open this up, they're not familiar with it, but this, uh, this metal plates you see on top of the chip, um, that's called an IHS, an integrated heat spreader. And um, if you've ever dealt with these before you'll see some once in a while where you'll actually replace the thermal paste on top of here but it'll still be overheating well why is that um there's a second layer of thermal paste that people overlook uh, because they don't know how to remove this and actually see that thermal paste um so that's this will have a tendency to dry out on the cpu too um so in some cases that'll need to be removed which i'll show you later on how to do that um, but specifically the graphics chip usually replacing underneath the ihs is sufficient also if you get into doing a reball or even our basic reflow it's a good idea to take that ihs off and replace that paste as it can uh it can dry out during the reflow process or just on its own over time and uh, then you're putting more thermal stress on the on the chip than you need to because that heat's not being dissipated so i have a couple things here this is just a piece of a business card um you could use any thin thick cardboard that that will work um and also this is called a bga scraper you can find this on ebay it's for spreading thermal paste um, or just general general use um what i've done here is i've actually marked it off with a sharpie to see how far the card will go um, so we're going to use this to remove the ihs now some people prefer to do this under heat but i've found that it doesn't cause a problem to do this cold which saves time um, my time is valuable so I like to save some. Now you want to take it off from this side where the CPU is at because there's actually capacitors on this side that you'll um, or rather resistors on this side that will um, get knocked off and get scraped up so make sure you go from the CPU side and I'm going to slide this card underneath and you see that mark that mark I made actually lets me how, know how far I'm going with this scraper and that way I don't go past the card and actually scrape the chip so I'm going to put the card in first and then I'm going to push the scraper in underneath and then once it's in a little bit I'm just going to pull up you hear that? it comes right off without too much effort just going to lift this off you want to be gentle with this um, and yeah, there you go so there's that second layer of thermal paste and there's the chip we're going to clean this off of here uh, before we put it all back together and I'm actually going to put a layer of arctic silver ceramic um, a lot of people recommend AC5 but to me it's the type of thing where you say you blow the engine in your car um, putting synthetic motor oil is not going to help you uh, what really matters is the type of repair you do um, the thermal paste I use is a little bit cheaper than the um, arctic silver but it really doesn't matter what matters is the equipment use you're using and your experience level um, so if you're just doing Doing it for yourself that's great um, I mean you can use RX over 5 more than likely if you're just doing it for yourself you don't want to put out the amount of money it takes to get the proper equipment but you know more power to you but um, after reballing a PlayStation I have never had one single repair come back um, due to a heating issue it's actually this chip actually has a thermostat in it that controls the fan so if you, I say I did use a cheaper thermal paste that conducted one or two degrees Celsius less, less heat away uh, the fan would actually kick up and compensate for that however uh, when I do get done with this process the fan will be pretty much idling all the time which is a good indicator that it's not running excessively hot in fact it's actually running a lot cooler than it would from the factory um, with that attention to detail and that uh, better pace and I must say that the Arctic Silver Ceramic is probably three or four times better uh, with probably five to ten degrees Celsius better thermal conductivity than the stuff that comes from the factory so I just want to show you that video stay tuned I'm gonna get into reballing PlayStations as well and uh, I'm gonna cover everything on 360 consoles when I have the time to shoot the video so thanks a lot for watching guys